Hey, how's it going everyone? Today's video has nothing to do with Minecraft. Uh, it's just going to be a tutorial on how to take any pre-recorded video and run it through a virtual webcam uh, into something like Zoom. So basically it looks like you're paying attention while you can be in another room. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, hit the two links down in the description. Uh, you'll see one is camtwiststudio.com. The other is uh, obsproject.com. Go ahead and click those. So the first thing you want to download is CamTwist. This is our virtual webcam software. Just hit download now. You can see I've uh, already downloaded these, but I'm just going to do it again for the sake of the video. And then download OBS as well. Download. There we go. So now, uh, that one's going to take a second. So while that's downloading, I'm just going to open camtwist.dmg. And there it is on our desktop. Okay, so you're just going to open the package. It, it might give you an error message because it's downloaded off of the internet. So you're going to have to come down here to System Preferences, Security and Privacy. And just hit Open anyway. Open. There it is. Continue. Install. It'll ask for your password. And uh, there you go. Closed. Uh, yep, moved to trash. Alright, and looks like OBS also has finished downloading. We're just going to open that up. Verifying. Okay. Uh, and then you just drag that into your application. I already have it, so I'm just going to tell it not to. But. Uh, just make sure that's in your applications. And then you can go ahead and throw away both of these little uh, installers. So now, what you're going to want to do is go to your applications and open your... Uh, first thing we want to open is OBS. I already have it down here, but it's it'll be in your applications right here in your finder. So I'm going to open that. And here it is. So, now that we have this, uh, first thing you want to do is set up your webcam to work. So, we're going to grab a video capture device, hit OK, and select your camera, and click OK. And there I am, hello. So, now that you've got your video capture device, you want to go ahead and record your video right here. So, um, first thing you want to do first is. <laughs> Go to settings, uh, just go to your video settings right here. Make sure that this is set to 1920 by 1080 um, and that this one is set to uh, 1280 by 720. And I keep the FPS at uh, 30. If you really, if like, if you have a really slow computer, you might want to make it 15, but 30, it, it should be fine. So now, uh, now that you've recorded your video, uh, go ahead and pause the video and record it if you haven't. Okay, welcome back. Um, so now you're going to make a media source, which is somewhere. There it is. Hit OK. Uh, browse. And I've got my pre-recorded video desktop uh, videos open. And... I named mine Paying Attention 3. Just find your video and just open it. It works with anything, MP4, MOV, uh, anything. And so that'll show up. And then I've got this pre-recorded video of me just here. Just Once you have that ready, you're going to come down here and make another thing, Siphon Client. Hit OK. And hit Launch Siphon Inject. You're going to inject OBS itself. And close that. And then select OBS in the source, and then click OK. And you'll see that it creates kind of an infinite loop. Um, but you gotta hide that and lock it, and make sure that that is at the bottom of your uh, your list here. And then you're just gonna come over to. Or let me make sure you close Siphon Inject. It tends to slow down things. Not sure why. Um, You'll be able to get the cam twist through your applications folder. I'm just using Launchpad. Alright, so you'll see there's nothing in the preview. Uh, it'll also give you this right here. 
if you're not seeing this preview thing right here, then you can come over here to view and hit um, preview and that'll show up. So this is a preview of what Cam Twist sees. It doesn't see anything. I have some pre pre uh, set some presets and uh, but you're gonna want to make one. So just double click siphon right here and double click Apple script. Uh, and then click siphon up here and select OBS. And what Apple script is doing is just telling it to run whatever this sees as a recognized webcam in Mac OS. So then what you'll need to do is see how, well, so it's, it's reflecting the aspect ratio of OBS. So if I do that, now that looks a little more normal, but it, you're going to get these weird gray bars regardless. So what you're going to need to do is scroll down here. This is a ton of effects, by the way. You can add, like, like if you're into that, you can do that. Um, but first things first, got to add zoom. So you're going to just zoom it in just like that to get rid of those bars. And so now you're pretty much set up. So all you got to do is you grab your whatever software you're going to be using. This will work with anything except FaceTime. FaceTime seems to have issues. Um, if it works for you, let me know what you did. <laughs> all right, so you're going to come up here to here, hit preferences, video, and uh, it'll probably be set to just your webcam. But then I can just do cam twist, and there I am. And then all I have to do is uh, turn on my media source right here, and suddenly you would never know. So you can see right here. I'm right here, but this is my media source. So I can just uh, let me go ahead and expand this to fill up the frame. Uh, hide video capture device. And now it's just me paying attention. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. Media source, set it to loop. So that way it won't just disappear after it's ended. So that way it can literally just be like a three second video, but you can have it going on for hours. Um, but yeah, if your webcam does not change positions uh, between when you record the video and the call, um, it'll just look like a quick lag when you switch. And that, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. You can go be in another room. Um, and that that's, that's all you got to do. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Just comment down below or wherever the comment section is now. And, uh, and that's it. That about wraps it up. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like if it helped. If it didn't help, leave a dislike. Um, maybe subscribe if you like Minecraft content every couple of years, and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.